Lyme Regis Museum and we're here today to explore another fascinating fossil with a brilliant history. This is a skull of an ichthyosaur and it was actually found by fossil collector Paddy Howe. This particular fossil has a really rather brilliant and gruesome history behind it. The first thing that I want to focus on as a fossil detective is really these really wonderful jaws. You can see they're quite long and thin, but what's really fascinating are the rows of needle-sharp teeth that are still preserved and lined along the jaws themselves. What's really fascinating about this particular ichthyosaur specimen is the fact that the base of the skull, the cranium, is completely missing. There are two other things that are really quite interesting as well. One is we can still see the orbit, which is where the eye would have been here on the face of the ichthyosaur. But even more fascinating than that is the sclerotic ring or remnants of it that are actually located on the snout itself. So how did part of the eye end up on the snout of the ichthyosaur? The sclerotic ring was actually a piece of bone embedded within the eye socket itself and it's in fact something that you see in birds of prey today. So let's imagine that this orange is actually the eye of the ichthyosaur itself. From the evidence, we can surmise that a predator would have come in from behind, taking a huge bite into the base of this creature's skull, taking a great huge chunk out of its brain. The force of that bite would have caused this eye to basically pop out out of its eye socket, woo, landing on top of its snout here. The so sclerotic ring, which would have been in the orbit of the eye socket here, would have basically popped out, and now you can see it embedded on the fossil itself on the snout. So here I am with a really quite phenomenal specimen um, found by Mike Harrison in 2008. This ichthyosaur would have been about seven metres in length, and what I find really fascinating about it is the eye. We talked a little bit about the sclerotic ring that was popped out of the eye socket of the other ichthyosaur that I showed you before. And here you can see it in all of its glory. The eyes of ichthyosaurs were absolutely critical for their predatory activities. Ichthyosaurs were swimming in the deep, dark seas, and with large eyes they were able to see through the gloomy water and spot what they wanted to have for dinner. So the key thing about being a fossil detective is using your imagination to imagine what this world was like, where these ichthyosaurs might have swum 200 million years ago. If that was me snorkeling around in those waters, I would not want to come face to face with this incredible beast.